We're talking about threats, and we're going to hear a lot about them at the conference. In my two introductory minutes, I'd like to tell you how important it is in thinking about solving the problems and getting rid of threats and um, building an effective strategy against them, the diagnosis is. It means we have to compre comprehensively um, evaluate the problem we're dealing with, its dynamics. We need to have knowledge to um, rely upon. Two uh, months ago, our foundation um, published uh, a report entitled, It is the Children That Count. Um, I'd, also, I'd like to encourage you to read it. It's um, available on our um, foundation's website. Of course, it's also um, available as a hard copy. It is a compendium of knowledge about threats um, to children. There is a whole chapter on the threats online, um, authored by Shimon Wojcik. You will find information about the trends we know, about um, anything we know from empirical studies uh, on the dynamics of threats to children online, also in the international context. There's also information on the threats to children that are not um, specifically related to the online world. But we know that the two worlds are merged, and we know to what extent um, the origin of the problems um, and the possibility to solve them uh, form part of the diagnosis. If we learn um, how the psychological health uh, threats grow in relation to children, for example, school stress or indicators related to uh, the weakening of family relations, for example, measured by the time spent on talking to uh, parents, talking to the children. If we learn that Poland is number two in Europe in terms of um, successful suicides committed by children and the young people, then you will instantly realize that the reflection has to focus on what kind of threats we need to face as professionals and parents. And um, you'll see how important the diagnosis is. There is also a positive aspect of um, children's activity. There is a chapter in the report authored by Professor Jacek Pyzalski on um, the light side of power and the positive um, actions of um, children and young people online. Um, the uh, self-creation, educational uh, activities, civic uh, participation activities are very often also used by the young people. The structure of the report and its content is very much reflected in the agenda of today's conference. I'd like to wish that the exchange of experience and the reflection related to what happens here during the next two days is inspiring and stays with us for good. <laughs>